Hi everybody, um, I'd like to say thank you to all the new subscribers and welcome to the SA Homesteading. As you can see, we're building here because um, when we first came here, uh, it was just a piece of land. So we started building so we can have a house and we can have a stable home. And yeah, uh, slowly we're just getting there. And from this, it all started and it converted to this. And yeah, it all ended up being like that. So what I'm going to show you is about our solar grid. This is it. Yeah, it turns, it lights the whole house, our solar. And yeah, we're using it totally. And we don't have any um, power supply from, from the government or anything. It's just completely off grid. And what you're seeing is our pumpkins. Um, basically, yeah, we grow our own food. Uh, these are beautiful tomatoes, which uh, soon they'll be ready for harvest and yeah we simply take them out while they're still a bit um you know halfway done they're like you know a little bit greener so as we put them inside the storeroom they will turn into their original color and that is our lettuce it was very delicious and some millies so yeah what we intending to do is we intending on growing our own food and being uh, reliable and fully independent and eating 100 percent organic healthy food and that is the real aim and trying to not pay uh, basically bills at all and see if is it possible to be completely independent and not rely completely on the government so yeah it is possible we have achieved it um, the only thing that i am paying at the moment are just the rates and basically the rest um i am i'm not paying so yeah these are the lettuce and our veggies so when i mean i'm not paying we managed to save so we had to, i had to stop alcohol and all my bad habits so um, to be able to save and be able to buy the land cash and slowly start building with the veggies and all the stuff that we have we can sell and then slowly we can build the house so yes uh, these are my three little ship uh, ships we should be having more because uh, the two females are pregnant so we're not sure if it's going to be twins or it's going to be just um, a single but yeah i can't wait i'm excited to see and that's clifford hey cliffy drop down boy boy there we go most intelligent dog uh, he listens he obeys he loves playing catch <laughs> i'm sure you guys have seen clifford already he's a very lovely dog and he's been very true to us and we appreciate his effort and his love and dedication that he's shown to us and without him trust us we would be so sad but we are so excited and we're so happy with all the dogs we have and all the animals that we have we cherish and love them and we intend on making sure they survive longer and yeah we enjoying the farm life we enjoying the farm life so i want to be talking about the off-grid basically um we're going to be talking about how it all works and i'm going to show you especially you guys i'm sure you are asking yourself how does the geezer side works of the solar side and you know how does the kettle and the stove and all those things that you you use, usually use how do they you know um take up your power so i'm just going to show you some guidance and i'm going to show you some many uh, many other tricks and how to save um basically and and be able to have lots of money at the end of the day so yeah let's get there i'm just going to be talking while you guys can um watch 
and see the animals that I have in my background so I can be you know I can put everything into details and hopefully I won't miss anything so yeah so basically I just want to mention about how the solar works uh, for those who don't know how it works and I'm also gonna explain basically how um, you can save um, by installing a solar and why it's so important for you to to own one and install one and uh, basically I'll also be telling you how we also get our water and I'll also be explaining to you how we, we, we use our geyser so we can have water to bath because we do live in the farm um, so we out, we out of every, we out from the city so everything is a bit far from us we can't just go to the shops we have to uh, definitely grow our own food to save petrol and we definitely need to be self-reliant because you can't keep going to the market which is very very far from where we live so that's my watermelon <clears throat> and i'm very happy about that <laughs> yeah and it tasted very lovely as you can see but um we grow everything like you know we also grow like pumpkins and we grow like um carrots and we grow like millies and we grow almost everything you know so we like to enjoy our, our own food organic and yeah it tastes very different compared to the shop and here we go these are the parts now now getting ready i'm getting ready to cook guys <laughs> so yeah oh look at that meat all yummy yummy so yeah i just want to get my appetite going before i can start the show <laughs> so yeah so the solar what happens is that uh, early morning from um seven o'clock it starts charging and it stops charging maybe at six seven and then sorry that's my little puppy uh, one second let me just put the puppy back to its mom so what happened is that um i'll look at those guys basically my mom is doing the garden for us helping me out with the garden which is a very lovely she's the most loveliest woman she loves garden and she does a fantastic job and these are the flowers in our garden so what happens is that the solar stops at seven o'clock and when it stops <clears throat> sorry we start using the the power and we be, will be using it the whole day basically but even at night we'll be using it and then i think roughly at maybe 11 12 i'll use my generator to charge it for an hour and then the whole night i'll have power that is my homemade pizza guys sorry um i love cooking um <laughs> my son loves my food so i always have to make sure that you know i treat my son and i'm always cooking him the best food ever anyway so yeah so the solar will will be maybe at sorry at 11 12 i'll charge it for at 11 i'll charge it for an hour until 12 and then it will go on until the whole uh, morning basically until i wake up and then i'll have the light that's only in winter in summer it just charges and i don't have to charge i don't know how to charge the the battery with the generator because the reason why i'm using the generator is because um i don't have the, um, the the power supply from the government i'm, I'm completely off grid so i power this the, the battery myself hey little man <laughs> so yeah guys um hope i'm explaining things proper and i've got a geyser um that's a gas geyser basically it uses the water pressure every time the water pressure basically i open the hot water tap the the geyser will ignite because it's a gas geyser and then instantly i'm gonna have hot water coming out instantly so i won't be waiting an hour <clears throat> sorry i won't be waiting an hour just to um uh, wait for the water to boil up so that i can be able to bath instantly i'll be able to bath and instantly i'll be able to take a shower and instantly i'll be saving 60 percent of uh, electricity because instantly it works so um, i'll show you the gas geyser how it works as well so you guys can have a look of and uh, how it looks and i'll also show you where you can get it and also show you every links of the uh, solar on how i can also help you how to install it as well and i can also help you with the diagram anything that you need help with i'm just here to help you and 100 percent you can count on me so yeah um so when the geyser the gas geyser basically um you, four people can shower with the gas geyser at the same time and only two people can bath uh, at the same time so that's how the um, the gas geyser works and it's a 20 liter 
guest skeezer and you need to get a certified person to come and install it for you and you need to get the certification for it because it's you don't want guests leaking inside your house and you know it's silent killer and you find your whole entire family sleeping to death you don't want that happening so you got to do those things properly you got to call the the real professionals to come and do your guests and give you the guest certification so you can be safe so yeah i'd like to say big ups to my mom guys you know um she's a very lovely lady she loves flowers she loves garden and sometimes she won't have you know she won't buy herself her lovely mcd or something but just to get those flowers so i'd like to say big ups to you mom's joyce and yeah for 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 teaching me and showing me what flower is and colors and everything about garden because now i truly appreciate every little small thing and that's the cctv to just to show you that and um, that's the projector or uh, just imagine all of that works with the solar that's the gas geezer that i was talking about so that basically instantly uh, turns the water hot water on hey little ones <laughs> i love those guys so yeah basically um, it turns on the project it turns on the pc it turns on the fridge it turns on the laptops you can use maybe three four laptops and charge at the same time your your router you can turn that on the whole night you can use your computer the whole night but also um, you must just know which computer to use you can't just use any pc it has to be maybe an apple something that's going to be maybe 50 80 watts that you can use definitely that you can use the whole night and yeah that's my fat cooks <laughs> i love creating that if you guys want to learn how to do that i'll also have the recipe for you so you can learn how to do that but yeah let's go back to the whole topic about uh, off grid um so yeah we can almost plug almost anything but we don't use the kettle because the kettle for boiling water it takes a lot of it consumes a lot so i don't use that i have a kettle that works with the gas um gas stove because i have a gas stove basically so what i do is i install the gas stove so the gas stove also i use the kettle which is like um the whistle one that whistles you know those old school kettles i use one of those i'll take a picture and show you guys i use one of those and um every time it's ready it makes a nice old whistle and you know that oh my tea is ready and then you go get your tea and then you have some nice robots or some green tea you know what i mean you can just treat yourself to some delicious tea or coffee or cappuccino whatever you desire but yeah and uh so i don't have an electrical um kettle i'm using a gas um i'm using um a a a plus a fridge basically that's basically to save my electricity um i don't have any electrical appliance that i'm using like uh, big things everything i made sure it's it's solar or it's completely um gas wise so yeah that's my russia basically welcome russia to our family uh, she just moved in she i bought her when she was um eight weeks old and yeah i'm so excited i always wanted a rovala look at look at her she's excited she's gonna go check out what's going on because she's inquisitive she always wants to know what's going on and she wants to learn the area and see what the area is about so yeah we are so happy to to own a rottweiler they very loving and protective and i'm sure cliff is gonna teach her all the tricks she needs to know and i'll be there as well obviously to make sure that i'm teaching um russia some tricks so yeah the space is all they need and freedom and some love care obviously uh, that is priority so i'm very happy you know i get to wake up with the, all these animals by my side and my son totally loves clifford his best friend and yeah uh, that's jeremy he loves 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 hugs he loves to be to be cuddled you know he just loves to follow me and you know shows that his presence is there to protect you know <laughs> so yeah all the dogs are protecting russia they all be like hey welcome home as you can see and the sheep down there they're happy eating their grass uh, it's winter now that's why the grass looks this way and in summertime the grass is greener so yeah right now we're in the cold we, we, we're having some cold breeze which is um we're lucky we have the fireplace i'm glad i mentioned that we have the fireplace so um i don't use any heat or something i just get the fireplace and then i cut the logs you know from the forest so i don't buy the logs and then i make my own fire so i'm saving lots and lots of cash basically <music>
Yeah, so yeah, um, it's quite a huge achievement to do that, but it takes a lot of hard work to, to, to get the logs and yeah, um, but it, you do save quite a lot of money. So yeah, um, please tune in for, for the next episode guys where we're gonna, I'll be showing you exactly how the, the solar awesome. works and I'll be showing you what battery I have and I'll be showing you um, basically almost um, everything about how and where we plant our veggies and um, I'll sh be showing you our sewer as well because we had to build our own sewer and I'll be showing you basically everything and yeah hope you guys will stay tuned and thank you very much for everybody for showing us some love thank you so much stay tuned bye